On the Ed Survival here, welcome back to our weekly prepping series. This week we're looking at weeks six and seven. A lot of times when I do these videos, I like to show you the things that we've already accumulated. And I had been doing that by just basically stacking all the, the things on my uh, table, but it started to really take up a lot of room. And so I have this, this shelf and I've put all the contents that we've uh, stored on it. You can see our water and food and uh, various items and on the very top you can see our tools and medicines and ammunition just various things that we've collected so far. So let's take a look at week six and seven. So here's what happened. Uh, if you haven't noticed I have a video um, that I've just recently made on a first aid kit I was doing, you know, a small lecture for a hunter safety course, and uh, I wanted to put together an affordable uh, first aid kit that can be basically found at Walmart that you could make yourself. And it turns out week six is first aid supplies. And just so we can be true to the list, let me just go ahead and read to you what we have on week six. It says um, aspirin and or Tylenol, compresses, rolls of gauze or bandages, first aid tape, and then it says adhesive bandages of assorted sizes. And we've done a lot of that because remember we've we've gotten uh, Tylenol in past week's videos because we, we've been doing some medical aspects all along. So we have a lot of that. Um, but just so you can have a visual, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, kit that I made in the, the video that I just told you about. And uh, that was about a 10 minute video, so I don't want to reduplicate that uh, on this one so just go back and check that video out if you want to know about the uh, contents exactly of this particular kit so week six was pretty easy for us folks so basically what we're looking at here is the contents mainly from week seven week seven reads a gallon of water a ready to eat soup a can of fruit a can of vegetables and then there's a special note uh, you know if you had small children you would also store extra plastic baby bottles formula diapers those kind of things uh, since I don't have children that was uh, uh, not necessary for me so let's take a look at what we've done the gallon of water as always Deer Park that's what I went with we've got the gallon of water um, as far as the ready to eat soup I didn't do soup I did beans instead and if we look over here these are uh, the grilling beans these are good and uh, that's a big bowl of beans uh, for me I got three cans of that uh, I got three uh, cans of dark red kidney beans I got several um, several cans of Bush's baked beans the smaller sizes uh, Vini sausages here in the front uh, as far as our fruit I got uh, kind of some mixes here. Uh, these were fairly inexpensive, being great value brand. Uh, so we did that. Uh, vegetables, you can see uh, here and there, there's some vegetables. We got some green beans. Um, so we got a variety of proteins and, and vitamins and things there. Um, as always, ammunition is something that I'm adding to the list. I have been getting 12 gauge shotgun shells, uh, normally six shot because that's what uh, I find the easiest. But today I found a uh, nine millimeter and these are federal uh, nine millimeter Luger, 115 grain full metal jacket. And I bought two boxes, uh, There's so that's a hundred rounds total. Uh, most of my handguns are nine millimeter that's been a relatively hard round to find in these particular times and so I went ahead and, and substituted the shotgun shells for that. Uh, another thing as far as food, it wasn't on the list, it's just something I ran across and a uh, good dessert idea is Jell-O. Uh, these were very inexpensive and Jell-O is an easy thing that we can make and, and anything that we can enjoy in bad times will really help morale uh, increase. And, and that's one reason, folks, that I buy. Uh, I don't necessarily always buy great value. I buy brands that we know and trust. Uh, Bushes, for example. Uh, I've got peanut butter over here I didn't mention. It's Jif, and uh, I like about any type of peanut butter. But uh, I'm trying to buy things that I know that I like. Um, 
so that uh, really your your morale will be we boosted. And, you know, I've got the Vini sausages here. <laughs> I've got some, but I don't want to eat these every day of my life for you know a week, a month, a year, because um, these these are cheap, folks. They're cheap. You can get thousands of these things and not spend uh, a ton of money, but I need some variety, and we all need some variety. Uh, as always, as long as well as ammunition, I always like to buy a medical, something medical related. And so this week I went with Betadine. It's a cleansing uh, agent. It's relatively expensive. It's this is about uh, I can't remember four to six dollars for this small container here, but um, you know we can use this to clean with. It's a good thing to have. Uh, some people are allergic to this. Keep that in mind. Most people, if you are allergic to shrimp, you're allergic to betadine because betadine, iodine, is in the shrimp. That's what you're actually allergic to, folks. So that's something to keep in mind, too. Uh, so overall, let's see. The ammunition that I bought because I had to buy that separately. I had to pay for it at the back counter. We were looking at, uh, let me make sure I got this right, $32 for the two boxes. And then for everything else, the food, medical supplies, everything except for the medical kit uh, was $37. Uh, folks, this medical kit, I, I said it was relatively inexpensive and, and compared to, to what you could pay, it is. Uh, that was about $81. Uh, but check out that video. There's a lot of contents in there. It's uh, again a basic kit, but it's a good place to start. So here we are. Uh, we've knocked out seven weeks of preparation, folks. Um, we're going to keep on going. I want you to stay tuned for week eight. As always, leave your comments. Uh, leave your suggestions. I love to hear from you. We have lots of ideas um, amongst all of us, and this is a good place to share and learn. So uh, please do that. Please subscribe. So other than that, stay tuned for week eight.